Let's do a little practice here with photo retouch on this particular image. A couple of things I want to do. Let's get rid of this thing right down here, kind of try to hide this. Let's see if we can hide this piece. This is going to be the most difficult part of this. And let's hide this piece. That's not that difficult in there. Let's start off right down here. Now you have different tools for hiding things. The first tool, of course, is our clone stamp tool. I'll always use this first. And I'll come in here. Let's just check the opacity flow. That's all fine. Nice soft edge brush. That's okay. Let's take a look at our brush and adjust 38% hardness. That's okay. And I'll begin just grabbing here. Hold the Alt key down. Click on a spot. And then roll over here. And let's begin to paint this out. Now somewhere along down here we have the bottom line of that ship. That's going to be the most difficult part of this. I'll grab some more over here and then just paint in to that area. You grab a little bit right there and just kind of touch into that. That looks good. Let's see what we can do. There's a little thin line right there. Just a bare line showing. I'm going to grab a little bit of that line and see if we can pull that line across. There we go. And that actually works out pretty good. Luckily for us, it's dark down here. So using the clone stamp tool is all we need to do in that dark area. OK, let's just zoom out a little bit. That looks pretty good. That piece is now gone, and no one's going to miss that. That's just gone away. Look up here, there's a person up here. I could actually clip out that person if I wanted to. Just clip out the heads all you have to do. Maybe grab some of this and put that right on top, and then that would just disappear. I'm not going to bother about that. We could also possibly get rid of this, actually extend some sky or bring the water up to this level or something and hide that if you wanted to. Just another potential option. Let's look over here on the left hand side now and see what can be done about this thing. A little more difficult because there's nothing really to place in this location, but I have this as standard background gray here. I can probably copy this over that and just make that disappear. Again, clone stamp tool. Hold the Alt key down and choose a spot. I'm going to extend this, this highlight here, this line first. So I'll just grab that right in there. Alt key click and then let's just move that over. Now the nice thing about this tool is I can see what I'm doing. You see right there, you can see that piece. So I can find where I want to align that and then begin painting from that area and actually paint around. Now that's pretty good. A little bit showing over here again, so I'll do that one more time. Click in here, come straight down, make sure that lines up, and I can then paint out those pieces. Okay, that takes us as far as that. This area is now pretty good. In here, let me try a little bit of the gray. I'm going to grab some, just some gray right from down here, and I'll see if I can just kind of edge that in and make sure I don't hit that that light line. There's that light line coming in right up there. And then I'll grab a little more of that and let's just try to kind of edge that in up here. A little more and just kind of knock that out. Not too bad. I may want to do something in here. Maybe grab a little bit of the edge of the staircase right here. Bring that in. Like that give me an edge for my staircase. And then come back up here. Let's go to a completely hard edge this time my size down just a little bit and now I'm going to grab some more of this ground in here and then using the hard edge just work right up against that line like that and give me a hard edge at that point so a lot of the stuff is a matter of coming in and just kind of going back and forth like this until you get just the effect that you want I can pull a little bit of this down I think to make it look a little bit better bring a little bit of those lines down. There we go. I think that's going to work out okay. Maybe I'll bring a little bit of this down just to break up that section up in there a little bit. Let's just see. Okay. Just a little bit of stuff. Let's see how that looks. It's not perfect in there, but I think it's it's workable. Maybe it's a little hard down here. I might want to soften that edge up a little bit. So let's go over here and grab our smudge tool. And I'm just going to smudge this just a little bit in there, just kind of soften up that edge a touch. 
maybe a bit too much, hard to say. Not bad though when you look at the picture like this. It might be a little more useful to come and actually put something in front of that to hide that, just a little something to block that, that bit at the edge of that staircase. But that gets rid of that sign. We now have the hard one right here. This is the difficult sign to get rid of, mostly because of these two lines going in there. To do this, we probably should try to work with our perspective tools and see if we can set up this as a perspective and then copy some of that in as a perspective. I can hide this fairly easily. I can hide this bit in here. This bit in here I can hide easily. It's the stuff right over this line here that will cause us the most problems. So let's go to our filter and vanishing point. Let's zoom in on that spot down here at the vanishing point tool. There we go. Make sure we can see the whole thing. And let's set up our vanishing point. So I have one line coming in like that. I'm going to pull a straight line across over to the other side over here. That comes down this one and make it straight across the bottom. Again, I'm watching the lines in there trying to make trying to match up that perspective. Maybe I can clear up the edge out here. Try to match that perspective. There's my perspective area. Let's now try cloning in here and pull this down like that. See how far we can go. There we go. That's not too bad. And just try to clone out some of that stuff. Let's grab another grab right here. See if we can pull this down a little more. And a little more way down at the end down there. Try to blend that in. Another piece down from here. And then using this to try to hide those lines in there. That perspective line. Okay. That's not too bad. It takes care of most of that problem area. Everything else I think I can get with just the standard clone stamp tool. Right there we go. Let's reset the hardest, bring it down to something in the 30s. Get that to go away. And let's try to just clean some of this out. It has this light in behind it. That's going to cause a little bit of a problem. So you may want to lose that light area. Just make that go. I'm going to see if I can grab some of that and do something with it. I don't know if I can. Not really. Whenever you can grab something which is pretty obvious what it is, you know, or, or has some kind of a visual quality, it makes it a better match. It makes it easier to hide something. Because the eye is going to look at that and not anything else. So sometimes I'll actually put something in and leave it there so the eye has something to look at, which will confuse it as to there being anything else. And it's just a matter in here of trying to come in and find areas that look reasonable to clean up some of that content. And that's not too bad. I could I could do a better job in here, a little more work, but that's pretty good. Again, this stuff up here, this is pretty easy. Nice dark background. I just grab some of that background, just kind of grab this, this stuff in. No one's going to look at the, at the texture in here. No one's going to be seeing any of this stuff. They're just going to ignore that completely. Then we're looking at the bright part of the picture. And there we go. Back out a little bit. Not too bad. Again, we could put something else maybe in here to hide some of that, just disguise that a little bit. But in a picture like this, most everybody's going to be looking up in this area up in here. You can also crop in a little bit possibly to hide some of that stuff. But there we go. A little bit of photo retouch showing a few of our tools. And you can see now how using different combinations of tools, you can approach the different problem areas in your document and try to clean those up. Let's just do one more thing down here. I'm going to do a little bit. This is just a little light still for me. I'm going to grab the polygonal lasso tool. Let's just come in and do a little 
lasso shape right in here. Use this as a protector like that, just kind of protect that area. And let's grab some of the color right in here somewhere, some of this brown color. Maybe a little lighter than that. Right there. Let's grab our paintbrush and bring it down a little bit. A little smaller than that. Soften it a little bit. There we go. So we can get that box to go away. And then bring the opacity down a touch like that. I'm going to just kind of tap in here just a little bit. Just like this. A couple of taps just to bring in a little bit of that color. We also could change the blending mode on that. Let me just undo that brush tool, back up a couple of steps here. Hold the Control Alt and Z key down. Let's just back up like that and step forward. Let's try the same kind of settings. Let's just adjust our blending mode a little bit to retain some of the detail in there. There we go. So using a couple of these different tools, just bringing in a bit of the color from down here, blending it into that area. Let's now deselect that. And it makes it just a little bit better of a, a line. Kind of this little dark line here. I actually could try to imitate that dark line down here as well. Let's see if we can do that. I'm going to clip out here. Again, using the lasso tool here. Create a little lassoed area. I'll grab some of the color right down there. And the paintbrush again. And then just kind of just bring in a little bit of that color in there. Let's see how that goes. That helps. Gives me a little bit of a dark edge right there. I think that's going to be a much better hide now on that part. Yeah, very nice. That's all I really needed was that little edge and some darkening. And that now has cleaned up nicely. Notice again in here, nobody's even going to look into that stuff that we did there, so I could do that real fast. So there we go. We've taken those three signs now out of this picture. The last thing I would do would be to spend a little more time around the edge of this, maybe rebuild some of the edge of this thing, this little gangplank here. Look a little more naturalistic. But you can see, though, there's using several different tools, using tools in different ways to come in and do some basic photo retouch. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you found it useful. If you like this video, click on the like button below to let others know. You can click the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos in the future. I'm frequently uploading new training videos. Don't forget to check out my website at howtogurus.com. You can share this video with your friends and coworkers. Just click on share and then click on the social media buttons. Feel free to comment on my videos. I try to answer all comments as quickly as I can. And finally, you can get all of my training videos on DVD at howtogurus.com. Thanks again for watching.